George Elder Davy, 1912-2007, was a prominent Scottish philosopher whose well-received book, The Democratic Intellect, 1961, concerns the treatment of philosophy in 19th-century Scottish universities. He was born at No. 4 Baxter Park Terrace, Dundee on March 18, 1912. His father, George Miles Davy, was a pharmacist and chemistry teacher, and his mother was Isabella Calder Elder. He married Elspeth Mary Dreyer, an art teacher, on October 5, 1944 at Bonnetrig Church in Midlothian. Elspeth Davy later became a respected writer and was awarded the Catherine Mansfield Prize in 1978. They had one daughter with whom he resided at Sutton Venae. Wiltshire at the time of his death on March 20, 2007. George Davy was educated at the High School of Dundee after which he was offered a place at Oxford University but turned it down in favour of Edinburgh University where graduated MA in 1935 with a first-class honours degree in classics. In 1939 he was appointed assistant lecturer in the Department of Philosophy at Edinburgh University. He was assistant to Norman Kemp Smith and he later co-edited the latter's collected papers. His war service between 1941 and 1945 was in the Royal Corps of Signals. He gained a PhD, with a thesis on the Scotch metaphysics, from the University of Edinburgh in 1954. After the war, he was appointed lecturer in philosophy at Queen's University, Belfast where he remained till 1959 when he returned to Edinburgh University as lecturer. He retired in 1982 and was appointed Reader Emeritus at Edinburgh in 1987. In 1953 he was awarded the degree of Dealit by Edinburgh University for his thesis, A Scotch Metaphysics, The Theory of Knowledge in the Scottish Universities 1730-1860. This thesis was published in 2000 under the title, The Scotch Metaphysics, A Century of Enlightenment in Scotland. A conference was held in his honor at Edinburgh University on 13 to September 15, 1996. It was entitled, The Legacy of Empiricism, a conference in honor of George Davy, and held in the David Hume Tower. On Sunday, September 15, 1996, he delivered a conference paper entitled Five Philosophical Theses from Ferrier. In spite of suffering blindness by the time he held the rapt attention of his audience for an hour and a half. Honorary Doctorate at Dundee University Honorary Doctorate at Edinburgh University, awarded 1995 Fellow of the Royal Society of Edinburgh Fellow of the Educational Institute of Scotland Andrew Fletcher of Saltoon Award of the Saltier Society Fest Shriot published in his honour by Dr. Vincent Hope in 1984 In this book Davy deals with the struggle during the 19th century in Scotland to maintain a generalist form of education which is not only philosophical but also scientific, humanistic, and democratic. The book has been described as a thesis about liberal education, pursued by a microhistorical investigation of the culture and academic politics of Scotland's universities in the 19th century. More than 40 years on, the book's discussions of the restriction of academic independence by centralization, inter university competition for prestige, research versus teaching and even versus scholarship, notions of abandoning moral discourse for ill-examined claims regarding scientific advance, are still relevant. Davy's somewhat prolix style of writing is exemplified here. It is possible to confirm still further the importance which this ideal of a philosophical education had for the Scots if we turn from the achieved pattern of national pedagogy to the plans which were being mooted for its development. What these plans reveal, until well on in the 19th century, is the remarkable hold on the country of the belief and the possibility of general education through philosophy. Not that the Scots had any dislike of professional accomplishment, on the contrary, they admired it even to excess, and were eager for the introduction into their educational system of training centers for higher education and specialization in the new subjects. But the distinctive mark of their thinking about these matters and of the organized projects it inspired was that they wanted to retain philosophy as a compulsory part of what we would now call secondary education. 15 to 19, and that admission to the specialist schools, though it was to be granted early, nevertheless would require, as a preliminary, philosophical education in the old style. The Democratic Intellect, Scotland and Her Universities in the 19th Century Edinburgh, University Press, 1961, 1964 and 1999 The Social Significance of the Scottish Philosophy of Common Sense 
being the Tao lecture delivered before the University of Dundee on November 30, 1972. The Scottish Enlightenment. London Historical Association, 1981. The Crisis of the Democratic Intellect, the Problem of Generalism and Specialization in 20th Century Scotland. Edinburgh, Collegon, 1986. Scottish Philosophy and Specialization, a Long View. Occasional Papers of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, NOS 2 6. Edinburgh, 1985, p 41 56. The Scottish Enlightenment and Other Essays. Edinburgh, Collegon, 1991. A Passion for Ideas, Essays on the Scottish Enlightenment 2. Edinburgh, Collegon, 1994. The Scotch Metaphysics, A Century of Enlightenment in Scotland. London and New York, Routledge, 2000.